arriving at 2034 South Ridge Road West on the left. Hey Mike, how are you? Back by the showers? Yeah, I'll run back and show you. We got another group coming. So I'll okay. show you. Oh, yeah, go around. So we've found the location of the old Buccaneer campground. Maybe hold your hand, it's going to bounce on the car. Um, it's now private property. Uh, posted no trespassing, uh, but we managed to find uh, the guy was out here mowing, uh, one of the residents here, and he said, yeah, go on up and uh, take a look. So we're going to show you what Buccaneer looked like. We unfortunately cannot get back to, yeah, pan right. yeah, to the enchanted forest. Uh, it won't happen. Watch it for the window. So, he said, yeah, come on back, we can look at the office and the pavilion and the buildings up there, and uh, this is the first stop in the uh, Eddie Keeger Memorial Farewell Tour, where we're going to try and hit the three campgrounds that we've been at, and uh, as well as possibly Eddie's Grill if we can. So, we're uh, just pulling up now. building that's on our right it used to be the registration office
took mine all the way back. I didn't. Well, we'd stop here. You have to go into the office and register. Right? True. Right. So I'm going to leave the carpet there on. And you, you can jump out with that running. I'm off. So we're at the uh, old registration site for when you used to arrive here at Buccaneer. And I remember this used to be, I, I think I have an actual picture. If I can find it, I'll put it, I'll splice it in here of uh, me and my bike. And Tom's walking over now to see the old registration building. Take a look at that. Um, we spent a lot of years here. Um, unfortunately, now it's private property. It's owned by multiple families and we can't get back any further than this and any further than the registration office uh, the property now is uh, it's split between different family members and the enchanted forest <laughs> enchanted is in double quotes but enchanted forest is down that road and a lot of you probably remember that that was a very very muddy trip but so yeah buccaneer not here anymore. You can still find it if you Google it. Google <laughs> stepped in a hole. Google Map will bring you here. Um, there's a ball diamond out there too. I think he said. And Swing sets were overgrown. Yep. Swing set overgrown. A lot of memories here. So I first came here in '97, I believe, and then I don't know how many years we were here before we moved to uh, Indian Creek which is the next place we're going to stop. Could have flown the drone down there. Oh, cool. That would have been neat. Continue 300 meters to the end of the street, then turn left. So at Harbor Freight, I must note if you noticed it, but they had uh, drones on the shelf. Yeah. Sorry, Turn left on too. Highway 307. Go somewhere else. What's that? Sorry, what was that about Harbor Freight? Uh, My phone's still trying oh. to navigate. Um, Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Thank you. You too. Arriving at Indian Creek Camping on the left. Gas is less than four bucks. Yep. Wow. find that when you're in a bigger vehicle, people give you a little leeway. They give you a little slack. They figure, you can't see me. You 
He's gonna fucking run over me. Power up. Just start it whenever you feel like starting it. That was a spot there. Yeah. Of course, right? As soon as we finish up. Yeah, that's about right. Eddie's Grill. What more can I say? Okay, so did you want to get a burger here or a night? In five and a half kilometers, arrive at 2034 South Ridge Road West on the right. I picked up a battery powered chainsaw. I think it has a 16 inch bar. Good news. I got room in a plastic bottle.
we rode down and went to see them at the first campground, which is a Buccaneer campground. Uh, what we're going to do during this, this video is we're gonna, we did a tour. And Tom Barrett and myself did a tour and we went to the three campgrounds um, along with Eddie's Grill, but I won't tell you about that later on. We met Ann, we met uh, Eddie, and from that decided, I decided that this is an event I'd like to make part of my life. And I did. I managed to do 17 years in a row. I didn't miss one. Um, the only time we started missing was 2020 and 2021, and I don't have to tell you why we missed those. I always made sure that I would put it in my calendar for the year, and that weekend was blocked out. And we'd go, we'd meet up, sometimes it was a big group, sometimes it was a small group. And, but we always had a good time, and it was all about Eddie. And we eventually moved from uh, Buccaneer Campground. Um, the path down through the Enchanted Forest turned out to be not that enchanted. After a while, it was just a mud hole. So we moved on to another campground uh, in Geneva on the lake. The first one, uh, Buccaneer, I believe, was in Jefferson. Then we moved to Indian Creek. It's in Geneva on the lake. Um, a really nice campground. Very big, very modern. It's, it's basically a, a, an RV type campground. Um, it has uh, you know soft serve ice cream, it had mini pot, it had everything. The only problem with it was that the outdoor shooters were not very maintained very well. So they started to you know become a, a real um, problem. So we decided that we would move, and then we moved to the final location which was Hideaway Lakes in Ashtabula. If you, need, if you need a place to go camping in you're in the Ashtabula area, definitely try it. It is a family-run campground. Um, Mike, who's currently running it now, does a fabulous job with keeping it clean. It's not the most modern campsite, but it does have a shower house, it has flushies there, um, and then it has RV spots with power, and it also has camp, uh, tent, tenting spots as well. So, Go there and, and see Mike and tell him that you heard about it from uh, people on the Eddy Run and you want to uh, experience it. But unfortunately, about this is uh, 2022 now, and unfortunately, about maybe five years ago, I think Eddie passed away. And then the Eddie Keeger Run turned into the Eddie Keeger Memorial. And uh, we started meeting just based on that. And uh, we, the group started getting smaller and smaller, and, uh, and, and and it's to be expected. You know, 17 years for me, that's a long run. And then the 20, 2020 and 2021 circumstances really put a kibosh on the whole thing. But anyways, I just wanted to make this video just as, uh, this is, I'm going home, but I'm gonna piece together all the video that uh, Tom and I took and uh, take you on a tour of where we used to be. And I'll leave you with the closing, closing remark. I never had a conversation with Eddie. He never spoke to me. It was everything was one, one way. You go there, you describe your experiences, uh, try and make him laugh. He was in there. That Eddie was definitely in, in there. Uh, you could make a crack a joke, and he would just. <laughs> and he still loved to see uh, big titties from women as well. Unfortunately. I have titties, but I don't think he'd be interested in them. But the one thing that I learned from Eddie was that you need to ride uh, as if you're not indestructible. And up until that point, you know, you know, I'd go for a ride, and it was just all about getting out in the wind and you know, going, getting from point A to point B as fast as you could. And it was, you know, I, I was, I thought I was having a lot of fun. But then I met Eddie, and I learned that a catastrophic brain injury doesn't just affect you, the rider. It affects your, you and your family as well, because now your family is responsible for taking care of you. If you're lucky, you have a family who will take care of you. So you got to think about Eddie's mom, who basically raised him as a child once, and then uh, stepped up, moved him back from California, set him all up, and raised him as was trying to raise him as a child again. So I'll leave you with that. Ride safe, everybody. Um, think of Eddie. Um, 
go to his website, just read the story, and, uh, you know, there's, that, that's the one good thing that came out of it, was the amount of people that I met that I considered to be close friends, um, I ride with them, I trust my life uh, to these people, so, anyways, um, I'm gonna sign off, leave a comment below if you want, uh, if you don't want, don't leave a comment, if you want to like it, push the like button, if you don't want to like it, don't push the like button, but, uh, from this point on, we're probably going to start having this uh, Eddie Keeger Memorial meetup, camp out in different locations of the country to try and spread it around to people who have always been having to travel from, you know, pretty large distances just to come to um, Ashley Beulah, Geneva and Lake area. Um, we're going to spread it out and go, go to other places. So stay tuned. Uh, there's a Facebook group for Eddie Keeger and uh, I'll try and put the link down below as well join the group and if there's anything further coming up we will post notifications there so you guys have yourself a good one I'm about uh, another two and a half hours from home um, it's cloudy overcast it uh, rained on me all night last night um, I slept over at my brother-in-law's and it's uh, hot and humid here and uh, I went from camping uh, you know outdoors humid to going I went to his house stepped in the door and his AC was down, so I slept in the truck. I camped one more time. Have a good one, guys. We'll talk to you later. Facebook post. <laughs>